Brittany Dane has set up a tag. She wants to know what people's gardening plans are for 2018. And she tagged me. Seriously, do I look like somebody who makes plans? As Baldrick might say, I have a cunning plan. I just wish you could see what my garden and my allotment looks like in my head. Um, and yeah, it's very different to reality. There you can see the garden um, the way it is now. That's the bottom half of the first part of the garden I got ready. But you can see it's overshadowed by that massive bush which the neighbours let get out of control. So. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in there. That might be a seating area. Where you see the red and blue tray, that's a border, which you can't see at the moment. And I've got uh, three different buddleias to put into that. This row of buckets, which forms the divide between the two halves of the garden, they're going to be filled with herbs. I've got some rosemary and thyme in there. Now, the, these beds in this section, they're permanent beds, but I've got uh, onions to the right, uh, shallots at the back, rhubarb. Now the rhubarb will be permanently there in the garden so we only have to come out the back door to grab a bit of rhubarb and I've got garlic there. They're all autumn sown, onions, shallots and garlic so they'll be picked up in May and then I can't obviously plant any alums in there uh, straight away so that may become salad and this little bed is permanent as well and there's two blackberries there now that's the other side of the garden which everything is dumped on um i'm just waiting to move stuff down to the allotment the blue tubing there that's going to be used to form um covers for cloches to, uh, and uh what you call them cold house um cold frames that i'm go hoping to build I'm not entirely sure what to put there because on that side there's the neighbours have massive trees as well which overshadow. I didn't want to film them because it shows the house but um, yeah um, I'm thinking maybe strawberry beds, beds. You saw the pond that's got to be renewed and this is where uh, we have both of our dogs buried um, and I'm thinking maybe plant a tree there. A lot of the wood chip I had that was all dumped there so when that rots down we may plant some sort of tree this area here gets the most sun for the longest in the day so I'm thinking I'm going to build some sort of a permanent greenhouse there this is opposite that again it's very hard to distinguish because everything is literally literally just dumped but I'm trying to accumulate stuff to bring down to the allotment that shed's going to go all of that rubble and baskets and whatever else is going to containers is going to go and that's going to become a salad bed now we're down at the allotment you've got a better idea from that view where the size of the patch that we have it's 30 feet by 30 feet well 29 actually if you saw the first video my surveyor um miss sprinkles surveyed it for me uh, we covered it with the uh, blue tarp and uh, a load of wood chip on top which you saw on the thistles just pushed through so now we've got really thick plastic smothering the whole thing down to be honest i'm not entirely sure what we're going to get done on the allotment this year definitely potatoes definitely corn definitely peas and beans but outside of that i really don't know because the soil is so bad we want to go no dig down here we want to go no dig um, as much as possible and make some raised beds i'm trying to collect bits of wood and tree trunks and heaven knows what else to make these um which are all being accumulated in the backyard, as you saw. But um, realistically, this year, um, I really don't know what we're going to get done, other than trying to just prepare the soil and make it a lot better. So there's going to be a lot of mulching, a lot of manure um, and wood chip um, put on top of uh, a thick layer of cardboard once we start removing the plastic. And hopefully we start to build up the biology in the soil that way and we'll have to dig i was trying to avoid digging as much as possible but we literally have to dig out bricks and rubble it seems like that plot and a couple of plots around were used as a general dumping ground when the allotments were in use we know that that plot that we have hasn't been used for several years 
and as you saw it is literally full of bricks so we're going to have to keep we, we, we have been doing little bits but i think for this year the plan is to clear it get rid of the thistle uh, as much as we can and make this uh, but make the soil better so now you saw i was i planted um, onions and shallots there you saw the state of the garden so there's no there's no greenhouse there's no um cloches or whatever so what i've done is i've just put them on the picnic table here and i've uh, turned over a couple of 10 inch pots at either end and i've stretched a bit of plastic over it um held down at the sides with pieces of lumber and weighed down at the top with bricks so they'll just have to be happy with that for now because it's the best i can do in the circumstances um so yeah obviously it's part of the plan uh we want to be as self-sufficient as we can in the coming 12 months and early into 2019 with potatoes, onions, shallots and garlic. And then after that, we'll just have to see.